Welcome to another edition of Would You Guess? You know you've heard someone say, but your last name doesn't sound Jewish. Well, what exactly does that mean? Why would a last name sound Jewish? Well, the reality is, many of the last names of Ashkenazi or Jews of Eastern European descent do have common characteristics that result in the ability to generalize about the sound of Jewish last names. Why? Well, would you guess that the vast majority of Ashkenazi Jews did not even have last names until 1787 when the Austro-Hungarian Empire required Jews to take surnames. So as a result, Jews quickly adopted last names with most Ashkenazi families turning to the same source of surname inspiration, resulting in a similarity of sound that even survives today. So the Cohens and the Levies and all their various derivations? Yes, these folks claim descent from the Jewish priestly class known as the Kohanim and one of the 12 most respected tribes of Israel, the Levites. Then there's the patronymic last names, which are derived from the first name of the father. So in German or Yiddish, Abram's son would take the last name Abramson. In Polish or Russian, Abram's son would become Abramowitz. Some Ashkenazi Jews took matronymic surnames derived from the first name of the mother by adding I-N as a suffix. So Rivka's son took the last name Rifkin, Sarah's son Sorkin. Now, many Eastern European Jewish families took surnames based upon the family's city of origin. Prager from Prague in Czech, Weiner from Vienna in Austria, Unger from Hungary. Other Jewish last names came from family professions and are virtually direct translations from German. Fleischer for butcher, Kaufman for merchant, Schneider for tailor. Personal traits or physical features inspired many Jewish last names, also near exact translations from German. Klein for small, Gross for large, Weiss for fair complected, Schwartz for dark complected. And some Ashkenazi Jews adopted names taken from natural objects. Applebaum for apple tree, Goldberg for golden mountain, Rosenfeld for field of roses, Hirsch for deer, Stern for star. So there you have it. And that's all for this edition of Would You Guess?